What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another draw preview, and we have the Charleston Open, or the Volvo Car Open, happening this year. We didn't have it last year, but it is happening this year. A big event on the WTA. It's a WTA 500 event, and it is back for 2021. And there's a lot of players that pulled out of this event. A lot of players are pulled out of this one. Starting with Bagu, she's pulled out. Burdens has also pulled out. Blinkova, Collins, Ferro, Herkog's pulled out. Kanepi, Kontovit, Krajikova, Lee, Ostapenko's pulled out. Pavlachenkova, Pagula, Peterson, Maria Sakari's also pulled out of this event. Sigamund, Siniakova, Teichman, and Heather Watson also pulled out of this event. So a lot of names missing from this one. All right, starting at the top of the draw, and there are some big names in this event. We have 16 seeds for this WTA 500 event. The top eight seeds get a buy in the first round and Ash Barty, she's the number one seed. She is playing straight from Miami, having won that a couple of days ago. She is getting a buy in the first round. She'll take on the winner of Doi or Svedlova in the second round. Then we got Mladenovic versus Rogers. The winner of that match is gonna take on either Lynette or the number 13 seed Anisimova in that second round. Then we have the number 10 seed Rybakina. She's taking on McNally in the first round. Winner of that's gonna take either Sevastova or Potapova in the second round. Then we have Gracheva versus Bedosa. Winner of that match is gonna take on number five seed Benchich in the second round. So straight away, you can see we have some big names in this event. Ash Barty, Belinda Benchich, and don't forget about Anissa Mova. Remember, she made the French Open semifinals two years ago and actually lost to Barty in that match. So we could be getting a replay of that in the third round here on the clay courts of Charleston. All right, having a look at the second quarter of the draw now, we've got the number nine seed, Vondra Sova, getting a bye in the first round. She'll take on the winner of a qualifier or Di Lorenzo in the second round. Then we have Zara Zua versus the wildcard Navarro in the first round. Winner of that's going to take on either a qualifier or the 15th seed, Kudamatova, in the second round. Then we have the number 17 seed, Buzkova, taking on Babosh. Winner of that will take on either Tomjanovic or Mikhail in the second round. Then we have Sloan Stevens versus a qualifier in the first round. Winner of that's going to take on number eight seed, Madison Keys in the second round. So we could have a blockbuster second round match between Stevens and Keys, a replay of the US Open final of a couple of years ago. But this part of the draw is wide open. Vondrasova made the French Open final a couple of years ago, so watch out for her. And don't forget, Sloan Stevens was also a French Open finalist from a few years ago. So there's a bunch of names here to watch out for. Third quarter of the draw here, and we got the number six seed, Muguruza, getting a bye in the first round. She'll take on a qualifier in the second round, no matter what, because there's two qualifiers playing each other in the first round. Then we got a qualifier versus Diaz. The winner of that's going to take on either Pekovic, or the number 11 seed, Putin Seva, in the second round. Then we got the number 16 seed, Zhang, taking on Fernandez in the first round. Winner of that's going to take on either a qualifier or Kovinic in the second round. Then we have a battle of the qualifiers. Winner of that's going to take on number three seed, Petra Kovitova, in the second round. So we might be seeing a replay of the Doha final of a couple of weeks ago between Muguruza and Kovitova, this time on a clay court. But you also got to watch out for Fernandez, who won a title a couple of weeks ago. So she's in some good form as well. But heavy hitters in this one. We've got Muguruza, Kvitova. They'll be the big favorites to get out of this part of the draw. And now to the bottom section of the draw. Probably the most stacked part of the draw. We've got the number seven seed, Mertens, getting a bye in the first round. She'll take on either Perra or Cornet in the second round. Then we've got Georgie versus the wild card, Baptist. Winner of that's going to take on either Trevison or the number 12 seed, Jabor, in the second round. Then we've got the number 14 seed, Goff versus Perinkova in the first round. That's going to be a great blockbuster match. Make sure you circle that one to watch. Winner of that's going to take on either Habino or Samson over in the second round. Then we've got a battle of the Americans between Davis and Brengel in the first round. Winner of that gets to take on another American, the number two seed, Sophia Kennan. And Kennan hasn't had the greatest start to the year. She's had a lot of upset results. She also had to get her appendix out. So I'm keen to see how she does this week, especially being back in her home country, America, and playing on the clay courts. Remember, she made the French Open final late last year. And of course, you've always got to look out for Mertens, but also Goff. Keep an eye on her and also Jabot as well. See if she can convert her game to the clay courts. So there you have it. A WTA 500 event. A big event. And it's stacked. We've got some big players playing. You've got Muguruza. You've got Barty. You've got Kennan. Some big, big names there. Grand Slam champions all round. Let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this event? It's a stacked event. Is Barty going to back it up from going from the hard court to Miami to the clay courts of Charleston? This is a tough one for me to pick. A lot of good players in this one. But I'm going to go with Muguruza to win this tournament. She's won a French Open in the past. And after a disappointing week last week, I think she will be ready to go. And she's had such a great year. So I'm going to go back Muguruza to win this event. Again, let me know down in the comments below. Who are you picking to win this tournament? So the clay season is underway with a WTA 500 event in Charleston.